Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a video about modifying knives. Um, I've done videos like this in the past, but I feel like it's time to sort of show you all of the knives that I've been modifying recently because I've had a lot of projects going simultaneously and I finally have them all together and really all of my sort of modification projects are now complete. And I wanted to run through it with you because I get a lot of questions about how do you do this? Where do you find that? Where can I buy this? So I'm hoping to kind of bring it all together, show you what I've done. I'm going to provide some links down below to the different uh, modifiers and where you can find their information. I will say uh, straight up, Instagram is a powerful tool if you are looking to modify your knives. Uh, a lot of people are on there advertising what they have and they tell you how to acquire their stuff and it becomes very easy. So uh, just straight off, if you don't have Instagram and you're into knives, you're missing out. It's a powerful tool to help you get what you want. So I'm going to just kind of go across the line here, talk about each one of these knives, uh, the process that I uh, sort of made it how it is, and uh, we'll just figure it out from there. So uh, from the left-hand side here, we're going to start out with this Paramilitary 2. This is actually the Blade HQ exclusive CPM M4 with the black DLC blade. It came with the Jade G10 handles. I didn't like the Jade G10, uh, and so I put a question out to the Instagram community, who makes the best Paramilitary 2 scales? And uh, I got about 10 or 15 different responses. Really, there are a lot of guys making great scales out there. But this one, this set caught my eye. This is the Aramis Akhmadov carbon fiber scales. He calls this the Grand Line series. He has a Grand model that doesn't have this fluting. On the Grand Line has this fluting. Uh, but it's this 3D contoured, full thickness carbon fiber. I'll show you the back here. With a carbon fiber backspacer finished in the same direction with this really nice fluting. Uh, and then I ordered uh, the hardware from Blades We Love. This is a site uh, online. They also exist uh, on Instagram, and Steve on Instagram there will uh, help you with an order. This setup is not directly orderable through their site or their eBay store, so I had to ask him for this combination of things. It came to me in blue. I wanted it green, so I sent the knife to my buddy Fanatic Edge, who turned it green for me. Uh, a lot of people may not want it green, but, you know, I like green. So, And we'll see some more of that, because I had a few projects going with Fanatic. I just kind of wanted to do it all at once. And so uh, I talked about this knife. Uh, the next one on the list also has a lot to do with Fanatic right here. This one came from him. This is from my buddy Andrew. This is something that we've had in progress for a little while. Um, I actually talked to him a while ago about making a custom backspacer and clip on this knife, but uh, we both got a little bit busy, but this knife does exist and it is awesome. And uh, it's the 801 Ti from ZT. This one uh, has been treated totally by Fanatic Edge, so it's got a mirror finished edge on it. Very, very sharp. It has gray Cerakoted titanium handle, so it's got a nice sort of gray, almost like battle-worn, I don't know, it's a very nice user finish, it's a tough coating. And then I got uh, hardware here, all from uh, MXG Gear. So MXG Gear, I'll leave a link down below, is a great store with a lot of aftermarket titanium hardware for a lot of Spyderco uh, and Zero Tolerance products. Uh, they have some great, great stuff, including clips and the standoffs. All of this was orderable on his site, and then I had Andrew anodize all of it to various shades of green just for fun. And uh, it's really, really cool, and it's very sharp, and it's a very, very nice knife. So uh, Fanatic Edge really has a lot of uh, abilities, and he, he's doing good work over there, and he keeps getting better. So speaking of which, uh, this is a combo project right here. This is my uh, ZT0393. This knife uh, started life as the plain blue stock 0393. Uh, there's a video of it on my channel. Uh, I then did some upgrades where I added some hardware. This is Hinderer hardware. Uh, the tab was titanium. The, uh, then I got screws from Blades We Love again. They have screws, uh, including underneath the uh, clip here. There's a titanium screw right there. Uh, 
They have the uh, handle hardware available. It all was in blue. I sent it to Shepard CC, who took off that G10 scale and made me this uh, sh marbled carbon fiber shadow box scale. Uh, and then I sent all of it over to Fnatic, and he turned it frunky green, and it looks absolutely insane. It is an insane knife. It's really beautiful. This is the way it should have come from the factory. Uh, I think it is the uh, perfected version of that design. Really, really awesome. Um, this came as a project after many, many modifications to my 0392s. I'll bring back out my 0392 Black right here. Uh, this knife I had modified by Razor Edge Knives. So Josh over at Razor Edge Knives, I'll leave a link down below, is a guy that does uh, blade regrinds. He's very, very good at them. He reground it to this compound hollow grind right here, gave it an insane edge. It came back to me with 16 degrees per side. Uh, I used it a little bit, and honestly, it chipped on, in a couple of places along the edge. And so I had him redo it uh, at 16 degrees with a 20 degree micro bevel, and it cuts really, really well now, and it's a perfect edge and uh, absolutely incredible work here. And he redid the handles to this sort of apocalyptic tumbled finish. And then I added Hinderer hardware. These are backspacers in copper, copper plated clip right there. You can see the plating's wearing off. Very, very cool modifications on this one, but all Hinderer and uh, Razor's Edge on that one. No anodization. Next, I've got a Benchmade here. This is my Crooked River. This is the full-size Crooked River. This one was customized actually on the Benchmade website. I made this in their uh, knife customizer. They'll let you spec out the blade, the uh, bolster material, frame material, clip, the uh, pivot collar, a lot of stuff. You can go and check it out. I have a video on it uh, where I unboxed and talked about that a little bit. Uh, but that wasn't good enough for me. I had to get more and I got these scales from Rogue Blade Works. I'll leave a link to their stuff down below. Rogue Blade Works makes these amazing scales. They also make pivot collars and backspacers now and uh, carbon fiber pocket clips for the Crooked River uh, and a, a few other knives too. So I'll leave a link to their store down below. Uh, this is a great knife. Uh, now that it's all tuned up, honestly, I think it's in, uh, just an awesome, great knife. Uh, I actually had to send this knife to Rogue Blade Works because the stock scales did not fit on this custom bolster. Apparently this one is thinner than the standard one and not, not rounded the same way, so they actually had to custom fit these for me, and so it's a, it's a really special knife for that reason. Uh, we'll talk more about that in another video. Uh, and then uh, right here I've got a Shirogorov. If you're into higher end modifications, especially Shirogorov knives, uh, there are some options. and. This, in my opinion, may be the very best. This is the F3R. I got this knife in uh, plain carbon fiber with the intention of modifying it in the same way as my previous F3, uh, getting the carbon fiber scales from my buddy Department 13 Knives. He is accessible through Instagram. He has an email as well that's attached to that. I'll put in some information down below. But... This started life as an F3R with multi-row bearings on Vanax, uh, with Vanax steel and steel ball bearings uh, with carbon fiber scales and no collars. I actually had to send this knife over to Russia in order for him to get the sort of the spec and the uh, numbers and everything to make these scales. And he did a spectacular job. Uh, he made out of marbled copper dust carbon fiber these 3d milled scales that are absolutely insane to look at the way that the light plays off of it it almost looks like carbo quartz he really has achieved an effect like that but uh my friend over there also added these bronze pivot collars that are patinating pat patinating patinating quite nicely just a very, very nice knife with a very simple yet beautiful modification. Now, he also sells uh, pivot upgrades. He had uh, ceramic ball bearings that he included uh, with that. So uh, I'm not going to talk about pricing and everything. Those you can discuss with each of these people because sometimes those are subject to change. Tell me what you guys think of these knives and how you like to modify. I'll leave some inf information down below for you guys. 
Click like and subscribe to my channel. Head over to Instagram and check me out at Dr. Frunky and check out all of these people. And as always, guys, take care.